Hi everyone, I'm Jonathan Aiken for the American Red Cross and today we're on a ferry crossing Pamlico Sound in eastern North Carolina. Our destination right on the horizon, Hatteras Island on Carolina's Outer Banks. There are parts of Hatteras Island that have been isolated ever since Hurricane Irene struck a week ago. And as you can see on this ferry, there's a lot of infrastructure coming to people on that island. Our Red Cross team has leapfrogged a group of Red Cross vehicles that will catch the next ferry over. And when they land, they're going to be distributing supplies to people who have been isolated pretty much for a week. The truck we're waiting for was just one of many loaded the day before at a warehouse in Dunn. That's about 30 miles northeast of Fayetteville. I know tonight we're getting uh, bug spray, uh, wipes, diapers. Just it, if, it's, if we can get it and it's needed, we will try and get it for them. Seven hours after it left the warehouse, the truck came in on the afternoon ferry. I'm waiting to greet it and empty it. Red Cross staff, volunteers, and members of the North Carolina National Guard. Seems they've been doing just about everything for everybody. We've been onloading cleaning kits, everything from cleaning kits, mops, brooms, shovels. We've been che checking water, water meters for the water company, been putting tarps on roofs, whatever they need us, we've been doing. These guys work for a local rental company that handles vacation home rentals during the season. Today, they're dropping off towels, sheets, and blankets. This is Sun Realty, and I'm with Cassie Cow and Full of So, uh, you guys just agreed to come out here and do this? Of course. Frank Bainey with Southern Baptist Disaster Relief washes, dries, and folds. They know one thing always in short supply after a disaster is clean clothing and a hot shower. Right now, out on the banks, we've got three units working uh, with showers and laundry. And uh, one is in Salvo, and the other one's down in Avalon. And we're here. And just knowing that there's somebody out there who cares, that's, that's important. It takes partnerships like these to get a community back on its feet. And as work continues on rebuilding the road, and the residents come back to the island and rebuild, the Red Cross and its partners, and just people with heart, are going to be there to help. Best of luck to you. I hope it Thank all you. improves quickly. Appreciate Thank it. you. Appreciate Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye.